Hi guys, today we're going to be making some um, latex prosthetics to go with our cyborg look that we're going to be doing in a few days. Um, so these are really, really easy to make. Uh, you only need a few ingredients and you can make fast and inexpensive prosthetics which will add a bit of dimension and interest into your work. So what we need, we need a mold to put our latex into. So we're going to use some um, modeling clay. This is just regular clay that you can get from the art shop. So like I'm just going to squish the clay out a bit, make it flat. Put it on here. Uh, then I'm going to get, I've gone into my garage and got a few different types of screws. So this is what I'm going to be pressing into the, into the, the clay to pour the latex into. So they're just different little screw heads because I'm going to be doing a cyborg as we said. Some nuts would also be really great for this. Uh, I couldn't find any nuts so we're just going to have screws today. So basically all you need to do is press them into the clay and lift them out. That one's probably a bit too deep so I'll do a narrow one. I might do a few of those because I think they're kind of cool. And if we do different layers, the harder I push, the deeper it's going to be. So that's going to make a prosthetic that's going to stand higher up on your skin. So I've done a few different different heights there. So it's just a little screw. If you can see that. Do a couple of those. these ones actually quite like this one here this is a, a screw that's not flat on the top it's kind of rounded on the top and it presses into the into the clay really well so that's a good one to find. So a lot of these are actually very similar when we press them in. But having a few different sizes is going to be good. And the more you do now the less you have to do later as well so um, I'm probably not going to use all these all these little screws for our cyborg. But while I'm here making them, I might as well make a, a bunch of them. And you can keep them. Alright, so we've got a bunch of little shapes on there. Now I'm going to get some latex. Um, I used to like to use Meron latex. I find it's really good. It comes as a liquid. So I've just got an old paintbrush here and I'm just going to be using the the wooden end, the handle end, just to push into the latex bottle and pick up a blob of latex. Like that, can you see? And I'm just going to put that into the bottom of the mold. So with this, if you're in a big brush, you can just tip it in, tip the latex in, like pour it in, um, which is usually fine if you do do that. You want to make sure that you give it a big, um, a couple of bangs on the table after you pour it in to get any air bubbles out. Um, latex, I find, is really easy to, to work with, but if you pour a lot at once, you get air bubbles, and especially on the top of your prosthetics, if you've got a, an air bubble there, it's kind of going to wreck the detail on your on your prosthetic. The other thing with latex too is usually you um, you do layers with latex, so you want to do lots of little thin layers. Uh, when you're doing little things like this. that are in a mold you can do it a bit thicker it takes a bit longer to dry 
but as long as you get those little air bubbles out and you can see them there's some starting to form in there I don't know if you can see or not that can be closer but there's some little air bubbles in there starting to form this is just a, um, a skewer used for making kebabs and stuff so you can just use that to pop the little pop little bubbles if they're forming there's a big one there get rid of that see if we left that one in there all that detail would have been lost so we'll continue and fill all these little little guys up So with the big shapes, I've just put a thin layer along the bottom. With the little ones, I've just filled them up. Now I'm going to pick up the whole sheet and give it a whack. And that'll help any little air bubbles rise. So I'll go ahead and pop those. Okay, so now we need to leave this dry. You can let it dry naturally. Um, the, the thicker ones in the little the little holes will probably take overnight to dry. Um, the other ones will just probably take an hour or so. You can also speed up this process with a, a hairdryer. So we might go do that and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've just gone and dried the latex. You can see with the bigger shapes, the latex has gone clear. It's kind of like a slightly yellow clear um, and that one's dry. So the little shapes, you can still see they're kind of white in the center and that means that the latex inside them is still wet. So those ones are definitely not ready yet. So what I'm going to do now is just fill up all the shapes all the way with latex and then we'll let that dry again. Okay, we're going to let those guys dry now. As latex dries, it actually shrinks. So even though they're very full now, or some of them are almost overflowing, um, once that dries there might be a little concave again and we might need to put a little bit more latex in. We'll see how we go. So the way that you get these little guys out is to just pull them out. Um, when you're using liquid latex when it dries usually it's a bit sticky but because we've put it into the, the clay the clay will actually powder it a bit for us. If you're using something plastic to pour your liquid latex into for a mold um, I'd recommend that you powder it with just baby powder or normal face you know, makeup powder um, as you're pulling it out just to stop it from sticking to itself and everything else. So I'm just going to give these a little pull out. Yep. And you'll see that it's our little our little nut shape in there. So these are going to be great for our for our cyborg that we're going to make. Um, you can keep these little guys for ages. I just paint them with regular our regular face painting makeup, um, the same colors that I'm going to use for my cyborg so it all blends and all matches together. And you can wash them and reuse them and keep them. So I have a little box that I have all my different prosthetic things that I've bought and made over the years. So there's some little screw ones which look quite cool. You see those? I actually really like those ones. Now the way that you stick these little guys onto your face is with Prosaid which is a, a prosthetic adhesive. Um, it's really important when you're doing anything like this that you stick things on with something that's safe for the face and body. Um, yeah, Prosaid's really great. Now you can also stick them on with a bit of liquid latex as well onto your face if you don't have any Prosaid. Um, the only warning I would give with sticking that on your face with liquid latex though is make sure that you're sticking it somewhere that's not hairy because liquid latex will adhere to your hair and when it's time to remove it it will actually rip it out from the roots and it's the only way you're going to be able to get it out. So yeah, be warned. So we'll pull all these little guys out. And then we'll show you them in the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was really helpful for some of you. And a great new addition to your makeup and face and body art. Okay, thanks. Bye.